I like the ha oh, in this song. I, I couldn't even believe like he actually managed to make this like for the very first time I heard it. I just downloaded the folder full of legacy songs and I found this and like Wait, where'd he get that ha oh, sound from? I am the keeper of souls. I am this is probably death talking, right? I am the keeper of spirits. When people die, they come here to the afterlife to live for all eternity under my watch. You are here with the land of the Mushroom Kingdom, and for countless years you have escaped my grasp. <laughs> what kind of a voice am I doing for death, anyway? Mario, I can sense that you wish to fight me, and I do hope you're joking. I have created this land. It is vast and dangerous, too. Even if you can cross the entire afterlife and reach my castle. <laughs> You will not win. I am death, not death, at my last <laughs> call me. If you insist on challenging me, then I will accept it, but it will simply be a waste of your time. You will not leave here despite what you may think. Never. Lost State Forest, except why is there a wall of term blocks? I know exactly why. You'll figure out that this is the end of the demo. You know what's really disappointing? Because the game was actually beginning to start, for real. The game was actually getting ready to start, too. It ends just where it is about to begin. Okay, it's said something about a sh shiny key. If I reset, what happens? I can't believe it starts you on new game by default, that cursor, so you better be careful with that. Oh, okay. I guess we didn't really lose progress. Consider we can still go on that pipe in which the demo ends. So what's this shiny key they're talking about? I'm gonna take a guess. I do probably need to bring... I do probably need to bring that guy some more skulls. And one of the guys watching, Dr. Novocaine, gladly told me, you missed a skull. So I guess I need to count them as I kill them. So one. Two. So how does the game know that I've killed all these wolves and collected the skulls? Three. Missed the wolf. There was one on top of that ledger and springboard up to. So I missed this guy. Four. Five. Now this better be it! That guy better be my friend. Despite the fact he's some creep in a hood. And, all, uh, and pretty much the fact that all of them are. He, that one better be my friend. I killed the five wolves. I think I have the skulls. The game is not being clear on that. I wish it was. Okay, let's go in whichever house he was in. Was this his place? I brought you the skulls. How am I supposed to pick them up, though? How does this work? I just don't know how to actually get him to understand that I killed the five enemies in the misery field. How do you get him to understand that I killed the five enemies? Do I actually have to pick up the skulls and do some weird command that, like, I don't even know? I don't know. That's the end of the demo. So I guess we have to give this thing a rating. So soon? It was just beginning! Final destination <laughs> is very different. It's very different from the typical Super Mario World linear sense. As in beating levels and just opening up the next one. Final destination is not like that. In fact, this actually really strongly reminds me of Simon's Quest. Which was a huge shift in terms of get general direction from Castlevania 1. Whereas Castlevania 1, you had to beat all these stages in linear fashion. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, you were exploring the land, looking for clues. And Final Destination, from, well, from 
what I got out of this demo really felt like that. So it felt a lot like Simon's Quest, like an RPG in that sense. Except I didn't have too much trouble finding my way around. I wasn't 100% sure if you could jump on those houses at first. But I eventually figured out that I could. I like, so let me look at this. Okay, this you can stand on. This you can't. You can stand here. You don't stand there, but you would stand directly above where I'm at right now. Oh yeah. I've been playing for 29 minutes. Isn't that totally useless to know that I've been playing for 29 minutes? So, the level design wasn't that impressive. But the flow of the game was pretty nice. It was different. It was done well. And it's really sad that it'll never be finished. I mean, this was done in 2010 and stopped. Well, yeah, this was so this was released in C3 in 2010. It was probably being worked on before then. We do have, like, what would have been the entire soundtrack to the game, but other than that, there's not much else to say here. Now I need to actually put this to a number. I've talked about it, I've talked about what I liked. 80%. I mean, the level design wasn't that much. The game just disappoints you. Well, the fact that it's a demo just disappoints you. You feel like you're finally going to begin playing the game. Like, you're really going to start going somewhere with this. You finally get the idea of what this game is about, and then it ends. Like, you know, you have no idea how much that must suck to finally get the idea for something. Oh, there's the death theme. I never died. Okay, so when you die, it puts you on continue by default. Anyways, this was a great hack, SNN, Four Swords, Super Tales.